What's up, guys? Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So on Friday, Lizzo's new TV show dropped on Amazon Prime. And let me tell you, I have been excited. It's called Watch Out for the Big Girls. And yes, it is actually spelled like that. G-R-R-R-R-R-L-S. And it's a reality TV type show. And the gist is that Lizzo already has her team of big girls that are her backup dancers, but because she's blown up since her last tour, which was before COVID, she needs to add some more dancers. But apparently the agencies that her team was contacting didn't have enough full figured dancers for her. So she decided to put out a casting call and find them herself. And that has now unfolded into the TV show you see before you. It's Dance Moms meets that Dallas Cowboys cheerleading tryout show but with body positivity. The trailer for the new show premiered back in February, and at this point, it has uh, 3.6 million views, only 2,000 likes. And yesterday when I checked, it was at about 1,800, and last week, when I was first looking at it, they had barely hit 1,000, and they were already at like 3.5 million views. So for context, Daily Wire's Jeremy's Razors commercial has 9 million views and 130,000 likes. So I call BS. Like, this is clearly fishy. Obviously, this trailer got ratioed and the comment section agrees. This person says, the like to view ratio says everything we need to know about this. Based on the views and dislikes for this trailer, they're definitely deleting all the good slash funny comments. Yeah, it's rude of them to do that. The cost for catering alone must be through the roof. <laughs> no comment. No comment at all. Please, Putin, take us over. But after seeing all of this, I knew that I had to talk about it on the show, but I don't expect you all to suffer through it with me. So because I'm gracious, I watched the first episode of Watch Out for the Big Girls so that you didn't have to. Your sacrifice will not go unnoticed. The show starts with 13 semifinalists. They come in and they dance individually for Lizzo and she tells them that whoever she chooses will perform with her in 21 days at Bonnaroo, which is a big music festival in Tennessee. The first thing I noticed is that diversity, equity, and inclusion was 100% thought about during the casting process. Most of the women are black, and then they have a Latina and an Asian, and then there's one white woman. However, she's not just a white woman, obviously. She's trans. Well, I have to say, you had one of the most impressive self-tape that I've seen. Thank you. Flipping all the way up in the air. <laughs> with Flipping. heels. Yes. It, I was like, whoa, I want you to go wild. Show the world what you got. Ready. Cue the music. Turn it up. Slow songs for skinny girls. Get up to the tempo. Tempo. Cut it up. Cut it up. Boyfriend, watch it. Hey. Get on this ride, baby. Hey. You don't have to buckle up. Thick thighs, safe lives. Call me little buttercup. Get up there. Ah, ah. Twin skills up on legendary slow songs. They for skinny girls. Can't move all of this here to one of those. I'm sorry. The like the summer. That person honestly reminds me of a character, but I don't know who. You can't stop the All the women come in and dance, just like that, basically. And let me warn you, the first half of the episode, actually the entirety of the episode and probably the entirety of the show, is just a lot of gyrating women. I mean, you can sum up the whole show with this one clip. I've narrowed it down to 13 girls. I wanna bring them to LA and see if they got what it takes to be a big girl dancer. Now, are you ready for that jiggle, that wiggle, and everything in the middle? It's time to show the world how we do it. Watch out for the big girls. That jiggle and that wiggle. Now, in these auditions, there were a lot of interesting clothing choices, but this one really stood out to me. I am ready, I'm excited, I'm prepared. I'm about to kill it, okay girl, I'm about to kill it. Honey, you look like you walked off the set of Orange is the New Black. Meanwhile, she's looking like that. Lizzo, in this whole first part of the episode, is wearing a dress that makes her look like the little girl in the children's book, A Bad Case of Stripes. Anyway, moving on from clothing choices, and I could go on forever about that because, like I said, some interesting outfits. But then, let me tell you, they get into it. They put on costumes and they go to some set. It honestly looks like they took these women to like an undisclosed warehouse location. There, it's dark, there's neon outfits, there's fog, there's sweat. I mean, just watch. Lizzo's big secrets, 
I hope you're ready to catch what they throw. Anyway, you get the picture. They do this, and then they do more one-on-one -on -one dance battles, and then Lizzo lines them all up, bachelor, bachelorette style, and she picks the two girls that she will eliminate. And then the rest of them who make the cut get to move in to a huge LA mansion where they will continue training and working with Lizzo, trying to move on to the next stages of the competition. That's basically the whole show, and I highly doubt that I will keep watching. But my overall takeaway is that it's not the worst thing that I've ever seen. I mean, the women seem nice and talented regardless of their outfits, and Lizzo seems very genuine. And I mean, I'm not a Lizzo hater. Like, if her music comes on while I'm out, I'll dance to it, I'll sing along. I just, I wish that there was more drama in the first episode to hook me. Like, it was just too nice and too composed and, and too politically correct, which it don't really feel like fits the reality TV show genre. And listen, I don't really care what you do with your life. That's your choice, not my place to judge. But do we all need to participate in this farce of believing that this is healthy? Especially after COVID and everything we've seen in the past two years. And I mean, some could argue that the show isn't necessarily glorifying unhealthiness because the women are professional dancers and they can, you know, keep up, but it's just an interesting conversation to have. So I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments because people on the internet are very, very split. So I'll just be interested in seeing what you have to say. Do you wanna be the only person that is not caught up on the internet's latest chaos? I don't think so. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any comment section content.